The Force.com IDE is built on top of Eclipse, a, a popular development environment for Java programmers that's also available for other languages. You can install the Force.com IDE as a standalone package or as a plugin on top of Eclipse. I prefer to use it as a plugin on top of Eclipse as that seems to offer better flexibility and I've had fewer problems with installations and with upgrades taking that approach. You can open the Force.com perspective using the open perspective command. And this brings up the default perspective for Force.com that includes the package explorer, the start page that you can close immediately, the outline, and the welcome that you're probably not going to need. Each Force.com IDE project connects to the metadata for a single organization. You create a new project with the file new command. And here you'll set up the project name, username, password, and enter the security token that you retrieved earlier. You will also specify the type of organization that you're using. When you're done, click on the Next button. The Next window allows you to specify the initial contents, the initial metadata, for your project. The default includes the Apex and Visual Force components. That includes classes, triggers, pages, static resources, and so on, the kinds of things that a software developer would typically use. As you can see, the default includes our Hello World class and Hello World test that we created earlier. You can also select the metadata components that you wish manually or start a blank project with no metadata components. Remember, the Force.com IDE can support all kinds of metadata, everything from page layouts to objects to reports, you name it. And the Force.com IDE is thus very useful also for transferring other types of metadata between organizations, not just code. Once you've selected the metadata for your new project, click on Finish. And the metadata will be retrieved from the organization. And you'll see it in the source section in the Package Explorer. If you're a Java developer who has used Eclipse, this is all going to be very familiar. If you're a .NET developer and are used to Visual Studio, well, how do I put it? I've used Visual Studio for years. Uh, I consider Visual Studio a good friend. And Eclipse is just not Visual Studio. But it's still very good. It takes a little getting used to. It has what you'd expect in a serious professional developer's IDE. It includes syntax, coloring. There will be autocomplete. You also have the ability to do some very force.com specific things. For example, we can run a test just by right-clicking, going to the force.com menu. Here's where you can run tests. You can synchronize with the server. You can refresh your data, metadata from the server. You can save metadata to the server, and so on. Here's an example of running tests. And as you can see, you get your code coverage results. You don't get the really nice graphics that you get in the user interface, but it still works. You get your debug log here. You can set your logging level. And most of all, you can handle larger projects without the performance issues that you run into with the developer console. Whether you're a Java or a .NET developer, you'll find that the issues and limitations that you run into working with the Force.com IDE have less to do with Eclipse as a development tool as they do with the fact that you're developing on a cloud-based system. That has an impact on development, a subject we're going to go into next. The two main issues that you're going to run into with the Force.com IDE is that sometimes it's slow. And that's in part because it's constantly synchronizing data between your local cache of the project and your organization. In particular, you can run into trouble and delays when you're dealing with very large amounts of metadata. Fortunately, the Force.com IDE allows you to define multiple projects within a workspace. So it's a good idea to create one project just for the Apex code that you're going to be frequently editing, and a second project that contains all of the rest of the metadata of your application that you can use when you're deploying metadata from one organization to another. It's also been clear over the past year or two that Salesforce has been putting most of their development effort into the developer console and that the Force.com IDE has been a little bit neglected. Hopefully that will change. 
The Force.com IDE is the primary development environment for serious application development in Force.com. It includes all of the features that you would expect in a serious programmer's environment, such as auto-completion, syntax coloring, the ability to search through all of your code or metadata, the ability to handle most types of metadata, and especially the ability to deploy code between organizations.